Hi guys, welcome back to a new editing tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how I did this transition from a wedding that I filmed earlier this year, an Indian wedding and yeah, just going to jump straight in I'm going to show you how I did that one. Alright, so the first transition is this one here from the couple transitioning back into a drone shot that also flies backwards and I've got the two clips here uh, ungraded and raw and this is how it was when I started this transition so this filmed in 50 frames per second so as you can see going back quite slow and this was going forwards because generally with an FPV drone you are actually flying forwards most of the time so if you do want any, any backward shots then uh, that's going to require to reverse it in post so yeah first thing I did was just to speed this up and I sped this up like 600% something like that I think which uh, as you'll see looks a bit odd because I haven't done any warp stabilizer on it yet but I'll probably do that towards the end and the second thing I did with this one is to speed and then reverse the speed so that it's going backwards past the roof and then backwards like that and then when I had these two ready in Premiere, I just right click both of them, select them both, right click, replace with After Effects Composition. All right, so once we're here, uh, just rename the two clips. So the first one is, uh, just call it, just call it Couple. And the second one, just gonna call it a uh, Drone. All right, and then, so yeah, when we play it, basically we've got this. And then at about that point, just gonna bring the couple one down below and at about that point, I want uh, the FPV start go coming in, going backwards. So probably start off up. Anything from the roof, we don't actually need. So just gonna trim that down and then bring it across. So just play it through again. So about here start to bring in that roof and so to get this to actually work it's kind of like a frame blocking transition where you kind of need the frame to be totally blocked by the thing that you're transitioning into so as it isn't here um, all I really needed to do is just kind of scale in a little bit so if I go down to transform and then click on that first keyframe there for the scale we want to make sure that at some point it's completely covering the um, the frame so probably if I scale in about there to about 155 and then also play around with the position just to make sure that should do it just about there just to make sure that everything is I can just get rid of that first scale keyframe just to make sure that actually the roof is uh, completely covering the frame at some point because then that's how everything behind this uh, roof is actually going to be this first shot here and this is how we're going to transition into it which I'll show you now is just basically by creating a mask from the start here just masking out the roof so up here towards the pen tool just make sure that's clicked make sure you're on the drone um, and then you can start a mask around the start of the roof which I think starts about here once that mask is created down here in the drone uh, part of the clip you can just press on expansion make sure that the mask path uh, keyframe is selected go to the next uh, keyframe make sure an expansion and then this is the really boring and tedious part of uh, masking obviously but has to be done just go frame by frame um, it's actually quite quick so there's not actually that many frames in this one and then just as the roof is uh, changing its position the next frame just change the mask with it and I'll just skip this bit fast forward it because it's actually quite tedious as I said So yeah, once that's done, when you play back, you'll see that the transitions actually work pretty much straight away. Um, 
float back there as you can see yeah so it's going backwards backwards and then yeah the roof comes in and continue going backwards that's basically what I did but as you can see because I've scaled in so much to 155 it kind of looks a bit rubbish after that so need to fix a couple of things the first thing is stick on good old warp stabilizer here so just try in there and get the old warp stabilizer where is it da -da -da. yeah put that on there and I'll probably just stick on around 10% for that one and once it's done just play that back through should have given a bit of nice stabilization to it yeah that's much better let's have a look again much better okay now when you play it through that first clip is looking good but the second one's looking a bit ropey and that's just because uh of the scale and position keyframes here we scaled in about to 155 which is good for the first you know part of the transition but then over the rest of the clip we probably want to start scaling it back out so if we go to about four seconds here and we can actually just reset both of these to go back to the scale 100 and the position in the right place um, and then what we want to do is just change the mask position as well on the drone clip so just make sure that with the mask expansion is selected that it's expanded uh, all the way out and that's just going to create a keyframe as well at that point at about four seconds and if we just play it back there we go that's pretty much the transition done so just play it back one more time as you can see the roof comes in to transition into the new one there you go guys, that's how I did that cool little drone mask transition. If you want to see how I did this transition here, then just click over here on this link and uh, it will take you to that video. And thanks for watching.